Well, hey YouTube, I'm just out here in the yard shooting my new Gamo air gun that I got yesterday. This one is the Swarm Hornet that's got the repeater, the Generation 1 repeater mechanism on it, 22 caliber. I just shot a group that I'm pretty happy with using these Daisy uh, wad cutters, which I never found to be particularly great. But 18 yards, no, it's certainly not a long ways away, but there's a dime, you know, and I had the one flyer there. But practically a nickel. So what we're going to do is test out Meister Cog lens, Crossman domed, Crossman hollow points, super domed, and then I've got um, five of these uh, exact or JSB exacts that I've weighed, um, you know, I, I sorted these, so these should be the most accurate based on reputation. We'll, we'll see. I'm pretty excited about this gun. I bought it directly off the Gamma website, and it was a remanufactured model. So I only paid, round numbers, $106 for this gun. It included the scope. That included the shipping. The gun itself was, I want to say, $68 because they had a coupon, which knocked the cost down. So I was like... I will take a chance. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding myself back with my enthusiasm over this gun because I don't know. I'm just, I've had reservations about the auto loading mechanism. It's caused me zero problems. It's functioned flawlessly so far, but I've had this gun for 24 hours and what I've learned, I get excited about stuff and, uh, doesn't work out sometimes but this gun so far it's been functioning really really well like i say this is my first gamo i was happy to see it. it's made in spain and i can't you know being remanufactured i guess i assumed i would see some nicks and scrapes and you know from a previous owner whoever sent it back but it looks like a brand new gun to me and in my other video it and the packaging they all look brand new the only thing is it's got this yellow sticker on the bottom and i don't know if they all come with that they may i've like i say first gamo i've ever owned um i did notice this yesterday um this little green band it's not going to stay on for very long um but not a big deal i like that it has the rubber butt pad the, the stock this this is a sandpaper type texture it feels really good. Um, the stock itself feels quite plasticky. The gun is really light and it cocks super easy. Um, it just has a lot of plastic on it. I think these things, at least when I was looking on Amazon for brand new, it was like $140. So for the price I paid, I'm beyond pleased with it. But for $140, I don't know. Just I've never been real stoked on plastic shrouded barrels. But anyway, um, came with the scope mount, came with the scope. The scope's nothing special, but we're going to run it because it's been working. Um, I do like that it has manual safety. I hate auto safeties. And this one uses the gas piston. I'm not a fan of gas pistons for two reasons. One, I, I, I'm skeptical of their long-term reliability. But two, I haven't found them to be any good. I, I found them to vibrate just as bad as a Springer. Um, but what I've since found shooting this camo, this gamo, now I see why people like the gas pistons. This gun is a really smooth shooting gun. I'm not having to do anything special with the hold. I've been setting it right on the bag and you know, I got the, I got a good group out of it. So I'm excited. I just, I'm, I'm just hesitant. I don't know long-term how this will perform. It seems like I've read mixed things about them. This is the generation one and they have generation two generation three and it's like well my hope is maybe there's been little tweaks with generation one that they've got this thing it's been out since i think 17. okay guys we'll go ahead and uh get started shooting um like i said i already shot the first group with the daisy wide cutters uh in this magazine i'd already have it preloaded next group will be meister Cuglins. we'll see how they do
the scope's not, it's four by 32 and I can't tell where the pellets are hitting at this range. I really, really like the trigger on this gun. It's got a nice feel, the take up, and then you can feel it hit and you just are able to press through it. I do have to get used to it a little bit though. I felt like I rushed that shot. So one thing I really like about this gun is just how smooth shooting it is. All right. Then the load magazine just pops out. Let's see, we will go with uh let's try let's try the Crossman hollow points. Those are a real popular pellet. And these are the first pellets I tried in the gun yesterday when it came in. And I had uh quite a bit of difficulty loading them. And evidently there's a O-ring in there that that the head has to press past but the magazine loosened up fortunately uh oh and these seem to be going in there i think it's mainly because they're a short pellet that uh that's why they don't want to go in nicely four a little bit longer pellet you have more skirt to push on to get the get the head past the o-ring and then it snaps into place so let's shoot five of those and then let's shoot five crossman domed it'll be interesting to see if there's any difference i do like this magazine a lot better than uh, magfire magazine this one's more intuitive to load. The spring's got a lot of tension. You really gotta squish your fingers to hold it from spinning back. I've read about these things getting out of index, so something to keep in mind. That's why I'm just, I have my reservations about the longevity of the whole system. All right, there we go. but I really like the brake barrel concept. Seems like it's still burning some ga or, uh, oil off there. I'm hoping this gun proves to be reliable over the long term because I really want to try it out at longer distances and then how it compares to PCPs and pneumatic guns. Okay, five. Be the last shot with this group. Okay, next pellets are... Oh wait, that's reversed, isn't it? These are the these are the hollow points, and then these are the domed, because I loaded the hollow points first, and the way the magazine rotates, so these are domed. Or wait, these are hollow points. <laughs>
Okay, that's the fifth one. Then you get an explanation point, and you know that that's this will be the last shot. I ordered some more magazines. I actually ordered more magazines today for this gun. All right. So we want to shoot the JSBs last. So let's rot rotate these into the magazine first. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I think the JS the JSB is a longer pellet, and it likes those. They're easier to just push in, and they they once the head, like I say, the head gets past that O ring, they snap into place. So it's kind of cool. You just got a screw. You can disassemble the magazine and replace the O ring. I'm assuming would be a really simple task. Next up will be super domes. And the super domes, they're thick skirts. They're a little bit shorter, but they they just snap right into place too. And it's about 38 degrees right now. You can see it's starting to get snow. <laughs> Winter doesn't want to stop up here. All right. So that's just good. You know, I'm doing it barehanded, 38 degrees, and everything's functioning well. My mag fire started to, uh, things started to stick. I think that one was low, but in the center. You know, I read a BB Pelletier review from like 17 with this and he was saying, oh, you, you don't see this thing in the sight picture. Well, I'm seeing the, the magazine a little bit in the sight picture. Oh, maybe, let me take that back. I feel like I rushed that shot. Okay, so this will be the JSBs. Won't it? Yeah, five, four, three. Man, I don't remember how many I shot. Dang it. I didn't count. I think I have one more Superdome. So I've got five shots left. Okay, now we're on JSBs. It actually sounded a little different. I hope they're hitting on the target, not hitting low on the wood. I can't tell from here. Guess we'll see. Okay, last shot. All right, well. Wow, the JSBs look amazing. Let's go take this back.
Okay, so here's my results with the H10 next to the its respective target. So the daisies, I showed you that originally, how well they did. I had the flyer there, but there's a dime. Again, we're shooting at 18 yards. Meister Cuglins weren't as good, surprisingly. And then these are the domed because I loaded those. I kind of had it when I was talking in the video, I think I had it reversed what I thought I was shooting and then caught it at the end. But I think we can go with a nickel. Oops. Yeah, almost a dime. There's a little bit of tearing there. So the hollow points were easy except for that flyer. That's a shame. And it could have been, remember, I think I said I rushed a shot. I felt like I rushed a shot. Surprisingly, Superdomes didn't work out as well as I thought those would do better. And then I think these will be the best, the JSBs. And you got a little bit of tearing, but that's a dime. So the JSBs work the best. How about that? I kind of always get tired of everybody. Get JSBs. And anyway, <laughs> they're, they're getting proven wrong. They work the best in this gun. I just get tired when they ship here. They're always deformed. Well, okay, guys. So there you go. Test and review of the Gamo Swarm Hornet. Um, I'm going to be shooting the heck out of this gun. I, I, I really enjoy shooting it. They say it's smooth. I love the trigger. Um, I, just has re I just have my reservations about the repeater mechanism. And maybe I'm, hope I'm hopeful that it, it proves to be very reliable over the long run and you know, I can just continue shooting and shooting um, because I'm going to be screwed if I if it does fail. Um, because for me to, I bought it directly from Gamo, so for me to return it has to go back directly to Gamo, and I suspect I'll have to pay the shipping on it, which it cost what was it thirty eight dollars to ship it here. You know, by the time I ship back, I'm going to already I already already paid for the gun and shipping, and so we'll see. Um, I guess I I don't know what I'll do with it. If, this breaks. So I'm hoping I could just take it off and use it as a single shot. I don't know if you can do that. But anyway, guys, um, really nice gun. Um, I'd like to say, hey, you should totally run out and buy one. Um, the remanufactured, I really am impressed with that. So uh, I'll just I'll just know more about the gun as I as I put time on it. So maybe check back in a couple weeks and if it's still working good, um, then I then I can definitely give a recommendation for it and just these brake barrel repeaters i'm just i'm hesitant to to get my hopes up but i really do like the way they perform when they work all right guys that's all for now thanks for watching